Hi guys, I'm Nyx and I'm back with another Animal Crossing video. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a speed build. So my idea is to take this beach and turn it into the Lost Things beach from the Tinkerbell movies. I don't have all of the items that I would like to have or that I think would be really awesome for this. So I kind of just used what I had in my storage. And I guess we'll just see how it turns out. Uh, I will probably edit it later, like make adjustments to it as I get new items and think that they'll look better. But for now, we're just going to work with what I have. So I laid the path down, but cut that part out of the video so you guys wouldn't have to watch me struggle to get the placement right. I also ended up changing the path immediately after I placed it down because I didn't like the color of it. So I figured that probably would have been boring to watch. The decorating is the fun part anyway, right? Also, going into this build, I only had an idea of like two to three items that I wanted to use, and the rest were a bunch of random things for my storage that I thought could work. The first item I really knew that I wanted to use was a boot, since in the third film, The Great Fairy Rescue, Tink uses a boot to catch water that's dripping from Lizzie's ceiling in hopes that it will get her dad to pay more attention to her and her fairy research. The second item was a stopwatch since it looks a lot like a compass. And in the second film, Terrence is trying to help Tink create a scepter for the Autumn Festival, but Tink gets annoyed and sends him out to get a sharp thing. Terrence returns with a compass, but it's closed, so Tink gets angry and the compass rolls over and smashes the moonstone and it shatters. And it isn't until later in the film that she realizes the inside does contain something sharp and that she was being a terrible friend. I thought both of these things would be important to include for those reasons, but you will see my uncertain uncertainty about many of the other items. I changed things a lot throughout the course of this video because I was desperately trying to make some of the items work that just weren't fitting the vibe and other things I couldn't really find the right placement for. But I'll just let you watch for a while and comment later. This is unrelated to the build, but can we just talk about how cute Lily and Ellie were when they were having their little conversation nearby? 
I didn't even notice them while I was filming because I was so focused on decorating, but I am literally dying of cuteness overload. I love them. So as the build progressed, I realized I had more space to cover on the beach than I initially thought. The space looked a lot smaller uh, before I started decorating it. And then once I started decorating, it was with a bunch of tiny items that weren't taking up a lot of space. So I had to try to figure out how to fill up the right side of the build. So I ended up grabbing more things from my storage because I suddenly had the idea to use a robust statue in the build along with other items to help fill the space and also make the build feel more whimsical overall. Also, if you see me place and pick up weeds and glowing moss throughout the course of the video, no you didn't. Okay, I only like certain ones and I'm very particular about the same types being too close to each other. It's kind of a problem. I finally decided to use mush lamps and now I'm wondering why I hadn't tried using them from the start. They add so much to the build while also providing an additional light source, which I wanted in case I ever happen to have friends visit my island at night. I like to have my build as visible as possible no matter what time you visit throughout the day so that you can appreciate the build and all of its glory regardless of the time that you visit. I also realized that using a statue in some of the Zodiac furniture probably isn't the most realistic in the sense that those things probably wouldn't have washed up on the beach, but we can suspend our belief here enough for the aesthetic of the build, right? They just look so good and made it easier to layer since the beach is obviously flat which I think provides more visual interest. The build really started coming together after adding those items and kind of helped me decide what aesthetic I was going for. Looking back, I question why I kept trying to use certain items such as the puppy plushie when there was clearly a much better choice, which I think I achieved in the end.
right, so I'm back with the final walkthrough of the build. I did change the path again. Yes, I know. I already changed it once before, but you know, what can you do? It just wasn't, the path just did not feel right to me. Uh, so I updated the green path that I had originally and replaced it with the iconic daisy path uh, that I used on my last island and I fell in love with. So I used, I just swapped that out and I didn't record that footage because I didn't, you guys didn't need to watch me lay down the same path again. Just as a different code and if you come this is the path that I added so if you come over here this is the right side of the build some of the items over here again these items may change I just used what I had in my storage so while it is probably not the best uh, this is what we have and I think it actually turned out pretty good Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this speed build. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for similar content. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!